Hello guys, welcome to the channel, hoping that you're good. So today we're talking about Victor Shungwani, we're also talking about Orile Bohile Mofukeng. You know, there's an incident that happened in the game between Pirates and Hungry Lions, and according to Victor Shungwani, uh, Umfukeng deserved a red a, a card for that incident. And most people didn't see that. I, for one, Mina, to be honest, I saw that yesterday when I watched I Isoka Zone, you know, to see how, wow, that happened. And Mofukeng also... He needs to be careful because next time the referee will see that and he will be sent off, according to Victor Shungwane. So let's see what happened in that incident, you know. Uh, so Mufukeng has been getting a lot of these chances, I must say. Lately, he always comes from that left and there's always an open net. Uh, he needs to fix uh, himself. Uh, he needs to improve in terms of the timing. Make sure that you release the ball early because it's easy for the defender to come and intercept there, you know, before you even pick your target. So he needs to release the ball early. He needs to be able to have good finishing and pick a spot on time. He's been getting a lot of these chances. I saw it against Kaiser Chiefs also. Now I'm seeing it again. He should have scored this in my opinion, you know, maybe if he was a bit quicker, you know, and decide, make a decision. But what happened here, you know, let's see. So obviously the defender came through and he made the interception. You know, but you see the goalkeeper now is going down. There's something that Mufukeng does to the goalkeeper. He uses his hand. You see that? It's very wrong. And it was supposed to be a red card in accordance with O Victor Tlongwane. You know, he says he was lucky there because the referee did not see it was supposed to be a red card. Let me just look directly from what he says, Guti. We're going to Mufukeng. Here we said we're talking of violent violent conduct guys you get that this is violent conduct and uh, you know violent conduct is when a player uses excessive force or brutality against an opponent or any other person when they are not playing the ball you know uh, so here he says look uh, Mufukeng is not playing the ball he is playing who is playing the person look at that guys you see for yourselves you know we don't have to go left right and center it's clear that Mufukeng was wrong in doing that you know he's not playing the ball he's playing the man that is a red card he says but the law says unless there's force used when uh, you know unless the force used was negligible uh, negligible and then uh, the, the referee may use discretion there to not give the red card but if the referee believes if too much force was used, then the red card must come out. It depends on the referee's interpretation at that moment. There is a gray area there, uh, but that one, Mufukeng's incident is a red card. That one of Mufukeng is a red card because you can see it closely and the fist so that... Uh, and the fist, you know, so that one is violent conduct. It didn't get anything because the referee did not see. But we are educating the young players that no, you don't get excited and do this. You will get a red card. You get that, guys. You got that. And that's just about it. So I hope Kutim Fuking Nae, he improves. You know, don't do that. Uh, it's very wrong. And if the referee saw it, it could have been a different story because the score was still 1-0. Uh, I'm not sure if there was a red card yet at that time for the other side. Uh, so you need to be careful uh, next time. You know, don't do those things. Uh, just, you know, don't, don't. Because here, you see, and even the hands, I think it's a fist even. It's very wrong. It's very wrong to do this. And yeah, that's just about it. I'd love to hear from you. Oh, Victor Shongwane even went further to talk about some incidents. That is why I watch the show, but still, it looks like it, it, there's no improvement in our officiating. What are the consequences? If Victor Shongwane always comes on a Monday to Soccer Zone and shows us, Guti, yes, um, the goal from Nukovic was offside. We all saw the first goal was offside against the general. Unfortunately, now they are eliminated from the NetBank Cup. We saw that uh, Amazulu score with the hand against Skukuna United and Amazulu were eliminated. What are the actions that are being taken? You know, what are the actions? You know, we saw some bad officiating in the derby. We saw some bad officiating before that, even against Cape Town Spurs. They didn't even talk about that game. There's a lot of every game, every week, there's going to be questionable decisions. But still, what is the recourse? Because the show keeps on coming every Monday. They show that the referee was wrong. And then what? What is the action that is being taken? You know, so... Hey, I don't know, guys. Our officiating needs to improve. And we keep on saying it. Uh, 